Hey guys, welcome back to another Blu-ray unboxing video and today we finally got the start of phase four here on Blu-ray today with Black Widow. So here it is, I've got the Blu-ray. I would have gone with the 4K but um, I was like, you know what, I don't really have a 4K TV, I don't have a need for 4K movies right now so I will just go with the Blu-ray. And uh, yeah, so here it is. A little sad that it didn't come with a slipcover this time around, but you know what? I could live without it. And then maybe sometime down the line I could uh, find one if they ever release one for a standard copy of the Blu-ray. But yeah, so here it is. Here's the cover. It's a nice red case here, as you can see. Up here at the top, it tells you that this combo pack comes with the Blu-ray and the digital copy of the movie. Here on the cover, we got the title. We got the characters. Got Black Widow. We got Black Widow's sister, Black Widow's mother, uh, her father, Red Guardian, um, her supplier, and then Taskmaster in the background. I don't really remember everybody's names from this movie. Um, I guess I have to give it a rewatch, but um, it was a good movie. It was all right. I'll go more into detail on it at the end. Down here, we've got a little sticker that says this: um, the bonuses included include deleted scenes, a gag reel, featurettes, and more. And you, can, and you can use the digital copy code on Movies Anywhere. So yeah, there it is. Now on the spine, we got the title once again, along with the Blu-ray logo, the Marvel Studios logo, and a picture of Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow. And then on the back, it gives you a list of Blu-ray bonus extras and tells you about the digital copy. So if you want to read any of that, Go ahead and give the video a nice pause and you can read that. All right. And then down here we've got some screenshots of the film along with all the characters included in this film and a description of the film. So again, if you want to read that, just give the video a pause, give it a read. Got a little blurb that says Marvel wins again and that is from Brian Truitt of USA Today. And then down here, we've just got a bunch of technical specs of the film. This film is rated PG-13 for intense sequences of violence slash action, some language, and thematic material. So yeah, pretty, pretty intense stuff here. Let's go ahead and take off the shrink wrap. And there it goes. Just toss it on the floor, I guess. So here it is. Here's the Blu-ray without the uh, shrink wrap covering it up. So there you could get a uh, clearer look at the cover. There's that. Clear look at the spine. And then just a quick clear look at the back. So if you missed anything, you could give the video a pause and give the back a reread. Let's go ahead and open it up. All right, so of course you get your digital copy code, which I will use. And you get a little advertisement for Movies Anywhere on the back. And it kind of lets you know what movies um, will be included with your account. Brings your whole collection of movies together across the different platforms. And then here we've got the Blu-ray disc for the movie. There it is. It's got the title. And no inside disc art, but that's okay. We Marvel fans are pretty much used to that by now. So, uh, yeah, that's basically it with the standard Blu-ray release of Black Widow. So that was Black Widow on Blu-ray Digital Copy Combo Pack. That was just the uh, standard Blu-ray release. And I gotta say, I am uh, kind of disappointed in this release. You know, this is the start of Phase 4. We should have more options. Um, I think besides this, the only other options we really have are the 4K version, which I think only comes with the 4K disc. And then we have um, the Blu-ray Steelbook from uh, Best Buy. I think that's about it. So in terms of Blu-ray releases for this film, 
Um, I'm, I'm pretty disappointed, guys. This is the start of Phase 4, and this is the best that Disney has to offer. Um, yeah, kind of disappointed. Like I said in past unboxings for Marvel movies, I wish, I wish, I wish that, you know, we could go back to releases like um, Iron Man 3 on Blu-ray. Uh, there was definitely a ton of options for that one. Um, the version that I got was the 3D version, which included the Blu-ray 3D disc, the Blu-ray disc, the DVD, um, a digital copy of the movie, a digital copy of the soundtrack from the movie, and it came in this nice bundle with a nice slipcover. And honestly, I wish we could go back to that instead of having just these standard releases. But, you know, maybe I'm preaching to the choir, but that's, that's just my opinion. But overall, the movie was good. Um, definitely not the best the MCU has to offer, but it's definitely not bad. I definitely think this movie was entertaining and, um, you know, it, it gave us a little more Black Widow. It gave us some more about her character and it was good. It was a good movie and I definitely, uh, did enjoy it. Um, it was a little late though. I feel like this movie should have come out before Endgame, um, sometime after, or maybe even before Infinity War, but, um, yeah. Even with all that being said, it's still a good movie, and if you're a Marvel fan, I definitely recommend it. And just if you're a fan of superheroes in general, I just recommend checking out this movie. Not the greatest, but it's good. Really good. Especially with uh, Red Guardian. He was my favorite character. But other than that, that's basically it for this Blu-ray unboxing. If you guys made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Um, let me know what you guys thought of this movie down in the comments below and where it ranks in your uh, MCU movie ranking. I'll probably give an update. Um, I don't really remember my MCU movie ranking, so I'll give an update either in the description or in the comments or maybe on Instagram. But yeah, again, if you guys made it this far, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next Blu-ray unboxing video. Later.